Ah, that's better. <laughs> I tell you, it's surprising how thirsty pork skins and yogurts make you. Uh, it would be, yes. There's um, one to Riverton. It's only 110 miles. Well, there's two, but one one of them is a dual trailer, like an articulated trailer. Yeah. Oh, the other one's like just um, a reservoir tank to take. Do you want to take the the double trailer? You can and take see how whatever badly one do? you want to. I've done think... a, I've done a dually once or twice. Oh, have you? Yeah. Hey, have you not done one? No. They're quite interesting. Quite interesting in English. Quite interesting, or uh... yes. <laughs> Um, yes, they, they are it, quite interesting, yeah. Is it's, that a case of stay well clear of it, or is it a case of, well, we'll do it? No, come on, let's do it. Okay, okay. Yeah, you hadn't done one before, let's go and do it. Oh, my goodness. It's first time for everything. I'm already down on my money for this session, you know. <laughs> That's what my sister told me when they put on the strap on. It's first time for everything. <laughs> What, for once, she's going to let you use it on her? <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, i gotta get got to get my experience up first. This isn't just it, you know, something a beginner can just jump into. Uh, no, no, it's definitely not. Okay, where are we going? Let's have a look. Stop. Now, to pick this up, we are going... Ooh. Oh, we're going across the road from... There's a strange one where we've driven past a discoverable, but we didn't get the discoverable, or it's not unlocked on my screen. Mm -hmm. um, we're heading to the steeler mill nearby. Okay. Pick, pick this up. Um, yeah, I've discovered some of the discoverables over here. You gotta get. You got almost gotta like cross the road, uh, get in the other lane sometimes to make them click on you. Yeah. I don't know if it's just because our roads are wider than yours or what. But. Mm, maybe. We're also going to need to sleep, aren't we? But that doesn't matter because this one's got like 24 hours on the uh, external jobs contract. Yeah, and remember that's 24 real hours. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Okay, we're going to go through these traffic lights. Red at the moment, though. Now they're on green. Off we go. And we're going to be making the next left. I read an article. There was a guy that was saying that he was predicting this last election we had, this 2020 election. Yeah. He said he's a, he was from the UK and said I was used American truck sim to try to uh, try to uh, predict the results of the, the American election. Okay. And he said he did it. He got on that trucker's MP, you know, the big, uh, the big uh, multiplayer, multiplayer thing. Yeah. And he the said, yeah, light. you know. He said, you know, I got on there and I talked to people and said, I'd try to, I'd try to engage them in, in uh, conversation, but said, you know, it's, it's nice. Most people said, the folks in America aren't as polarized as what we've been led to believe. He said that you know most people just don't want to talk. It's like, look, that's cool, brother. We just want to we just want to drive trucks, alrighty. We just don't want to discuss politics and stuff like that. So that that was cool. But then he said, but the other part of it was that I was talking with people and said some of them would talk to me and stuff, but said they weren't crazy. It wasn't crazy like what you see on TV and all. But everybody had their opinions. It said. But what did strike me is that I sat there and, you know, I turned on the, the in-game radio. Yeah. And said, you know, the radio the radio stations in-game are all all uh, localized to whatever part of the world you happen to be in. Like, if you're in America, if you're driving, you know, California, you'll get California stations and stuff like that. If you're in Poland, you get Polish stations. UK, you get UK stations. And said, so I was driving around listening to a bunch of uh, American talk radio programs. And said, that scared the bejesus out of me. <laughs> 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 you get some crazy, crazy people on there. On talk radio, yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. 
Uh, he's mistaken about the being po- uh, localised, though, because I, I listen to the radio when I'm driving and I can listen to any of the ones on... Uh, in fact, I actually need to go into my uh, uh, live streaming .ssi and, ch- and put in a couple of new radio stations. I'm thinking he means local. I'm thinking what he probably means localized is that uh, you know he was he was kind of he, he he might have been surprised that when you played American Trucks in him, all the the radio stations were American. You know, possibly. I think yeah. that might be what he was. What he was. Yeah, red light. Cause yeah, I mean, when I was I was driving all around, when I was doing the cruise in Iberia, I was driving all around uh, Spain and Portugal and listening to uh, um, some something out of Lancaster. Yeah. Yeah, some radio station in Lancaster. It was cool. I liked the lady that was on in on in the morning. Yeah, yeah. She was quite. I think that was re- quite fun. I think that's shut down now. That it used to be Bay Radio, but that's yeah, it shut wasn't down. the Bay. This was no, this no, just last no, month, yeah. No, there's something like, there's like a heart or, or something that's... Uh, oh, little you convertible. Right? You better be careful. Yeah, I usually, I, I used to listen to the Bay all the time. Mm-hmm. But yeah, they, they shut down like a year or two ago. Yeah, it did. It's been a while. Is that another Waffle House? Oh, yeah. You like your Waffle Houses over here. Is that the same one that we've been past a few times now? <laughs> we do like our Waffle Houses, and that's probably standing That's that's standing in for Waffle light. Houses, IHOPs, and Huddle Houses, you know? Yeah. I'd often heard of an IHOP, and I didn't know what it was um, until I finally found out what the acronym stands for. But, I mean, to us, a hop is a dance, so I always thought it was some sort of dance parlor or something. Uh. <laughs> well, for us, a little hop, yeah, it used to be back a sock hop. Back in the 50s, a hop yeah. was a dance. Yeah. But now it just means to jump. <laughs> yes, yeah. But, yeah, nobody calls it the hop. I mean, nobody says we're going to the hop anymore. No. In fact, there, was it a Chubby Checker song? Was that, let's go to the hop? Let's go to the hop. Something like that. It's something like that, yeah, yeah. Might have been Chubby Checker, I can't remember. That's like Twist Again. It's like, uh, is, is it not in that where he sings that line? Let's Twist Again. May, yeah, it could be. Maybe. Yeah. Because he did the twist and then Let's Twist Again. Those were only his, only his, those were his only two number one songs. Uh. Um. It'd be like, do we need to do any I can't get no satisfaction. And then the next year release, I still can't get no satisfaction. <laughs> yeah. um, I'm going to, uh, should we turn left and find out what this is discoverable is? Yeah, before sure. we pick up the lot. We're going to yeah. pick it up on the right here, the Steelers, but I, I'm just going to go yeah, left and now. Uh, find out what the discoverable is. It must be a dealer because we've picked up the Yep, uh, got a Peter Bill team. right here. Yeah, we picked no, up the Peterbilt before? No, we've driven right past it and it didn't pick it up, so that's what yeah, I'm saying. Yeah, you had to get close enough to it. Um, where's the gate? Oh, there, is that it? Okay, there it is. Yeah. But yeah, I had to drive into the gate to pick it up. Fancy that. Alright, um, do you want to sleep? We're at, on a half... Um, yeah, sure. We can sleep over here. Like we discovered, you know, it's, some of these places it's good to get to sleep where you can. Spikey over here, his horns are looking a little saggy, so I think he's getting tired. Yeah. <laughs> hey there, buddy, I can see you at the window. Let's get some coffee. <laughs> yeah, and can zoom right in on you, too. Yep. Okay. We're now just going to go across the road. People park here when the place is closed. Yeah. I wonder if they had the cleaning crew. 
Oh my god, that road is so dark, I can't see a blooming thing. Yep, that's why I pulled out in front of that bus the other day. But then again, if you can't see a thing, that probably means nothing's coming. <laughs> if you can't that's, see that's the, the headlights. The philosophy here. Yeah. Oh, that'd be alright if every vehicle had showed its headlights, but some don't seem to show the lights. Right, we're turning right here into Steelers. We ain't nowhere near Pittsburgh. Hmm. Oh. Okay. I've got to go to pick up this. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I can't, I can't see where my Please truck stop is. Stop apologizing all the time. You sound like you're Canadian. <laughs> Let's right is... here. Let's pick up. Oh, oh it's the tank, it tanker on the on the left. Oh Reservoir yeah. Reservoir tank. Yep. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. Going from Casper to Riverton. Forty-eight hundred dollars. Forty-five thousand pounds of reservoir tank. And I'll click on take job. That's right. Gotta load me in. Quick peek. Make sure the wife hasn't texted me. Nope. Take another sip of my fine beverage here. Tell you what, leaning out the window is very ah. good for reversing. Sure, it sure is. I've had to blindside once or twice, and I don't like it. I can do it, but it's under protest. Okay. It's 2 o'clock in the morning. Do you have any tips for a double trailer? I've never pulled one of these before. Uh, remember how damn long it is and that you got to pull mighty wide. You know, give yourself... Whenever you think you got enough room, it's kind of like what they say whenever you're in a survival situation. At nighttime, whenever you're getting firewood, yeah, you know, collect the firewood you think you need, yeah, and then get two times more of that, yeah. And that's it, you know. Uh, make yeah, you, know, you definitely ain't gonna be able to. Excuse me. You definitely ain't gonna be able to. Uh, why am I coming around here from the front end of the things over there? Because I'm coming back around here where I thought you were getting yours from, but that's not where I'm getting mine from. Ah. Mine's one part right up here. Can I get through here? I think I can. Maybe. Look, if I, if I sneak this big old truck with a trailer in through that wreck the other day, I'd be able to sneak this little bit of cab in through this little place. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Yeah, my advice is just just remember that you ain't, you know, you ain't going to be able to, to really squeak it through some places. Like, you know, there's occasional... Oh, damn it, I'm supposed to pick it up on the other side. All that drive... Ah! ah. You know the worst part about making a mistake in this game? What? When you're recording and everybody gets to see it. <laughs> I'm glad they gave us 24 hours. It's going to take me 20 of those to figure out where the hell I'm supposed to hook up this trailer at. Uh, now, my biggest piece of advice, remember you can't, you know, that you got, you know, all this trailer behind you, so you can't sneak through traffic lights and stuff like that. Yeah. And, uh, that, yeah, whenever you, whenever you pull wide, you gotta pull wide. All right. Hell, yeah, just pulling out of this spot right here with this double trailer is a good bit of practice. Mind you, just how long this sucker is. It is indeed. And see, if you if you go into like 
um, number two, Cameron, swing around to the front of your truck. You should be dazzled by your headlights, but they're these tiny little lights that you can hardly see. Yeah. Yeah, they are kind of pathetic on this Volvo. I'm hoping my next truck, they're going to be brighter. I thought, what, 64? I thought it was. It's getting a little chilly in here. I'm going to let this window back up. So you say go wide and then go wide again. Yeah, just remember it's like like on that earlier episode where I saw you, you know, cut off that truck in front of you. You do that in this and you're gonna knock them off the road. <laughs> I don't know you're being cut off a truck in front of me. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Oh, why is this always night time? Want me to change it? No, no. I just feel bad because it's for a recording purpose, that's all. Well, but, you know. I told you, it's only mine feeding, it's only cousin mine feeding cousin G Bub that's going to watch this. So. Uh, that's true. You know, if they got a problem with it, they can come talk to us in person. Hey, these are so long. I wonder if we'll get a, a, tra a traffic light violation when we've gone through it. Damn, there's a line of cars. Get on through here, buddy. Traffic lights now, are you? Yeah. I'm going to wait at the bend for you. I can go 553 miles. I got 115 gallons. Yeah, well, I've only got 106 miles to go. I'm so happy that I saw that Janine and so happy that you reminded me that that setting's on the dashboard. Because usually I just had it set to cruise control, you know. Yeah. Do you use cruise control? Oh, yeah, all the time. Get some of these. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I'm going half. To... Get in the left hand lane because eventually you have. Oh, that guy's nearly yeah, at me then. It's different than that. i got to find out where the hell I am. Okay, so the guy came zooming along the side of me and then turned into me. Okay. <laughs> I ain't totally sure where I'm at. <laughs> you're not totally sure where you're at? Yeah. I Okay, the truck just went by, so I know my tail end is still on the road. Okay. Have you gone off the road, have you? I did. I knocked my, knocked my mouse off of the arm of the chair. Oh, okay. So, uh, so it fell on the floor, and all of a sudden, <laughs> I was looking at the, the inside of my cab. Okay. So I jammed on the brakes. I jammed on the brakes so I wouldn't go scooting out, but yeah, I, my wheel turned, and I ended up halfway across this field here. Let me see if I can get back on the road. All right, good. I wasn't too bad. Woo! That was scary. <laughs> that was scary. That was a, that was a I could have cracked a pecan with my butthole that time. I could have cracked a walnut. Well, it'll be a little bit of a traffic jam in front of you because I've been sitting holding him up a bit. Oh so. yeah, that big old traffic jam. I'm moving again, so they should start moving for you now. I'm dreading having to try and park this thing. Let's hope they'll just give me an easy one. They give you pull-throughs. Do they? Oh, yeah, okay. they, they, the, they're always pull-throughs with the double trailers. Okay. They don't, or at least I've never seen one that they've asked you to try to back it in anyway. Let's put my main beam on and then I can see a bit better in this dark. Oh, 
a city. Guys. Nice. I prefer Volks and they have better cars. <laughs> Listening to those um, trucking songs, and one of those trucking songs was um, "There's only a six-pack left to go <laughs> to the to get home." And I'm thinking, yeah, yeah, that's that. you can tell that's a song from the seventies. Yeah, that's an old song. <laughs> that's right. Oh, there's a discoverable on the left up here. If we go around a loop, I mean, I'm going to come to a stop, so I just expect there might be some traffic in front of you in a moment. All right. I'm just going to come to a stop and just have a look at the map. Yes, there is the discoverable if we can go around a loop. Okay. Can we get around a loop in this truck stuff? Yes. Okay. Coming up on your left a bit further out, there is a loop to go to a, a discoverable. I'm going to go around it and then find out what the discoverable is. I'm not there yet. But <clears throat> Yep, you talking about all that 70s stuff? Yeah, I was sitting there, like I said, the, the old, the old, uh, last of the summer wine that I like, the first, like, 10 seasons and stuff, yeah. Old Compo talking about, yeah, I used to put on the glamour for a bird. And they passed a, passed a, uh, walking down the street, they passed this store that's got a bunch of clothing and stuff in it. And, I mean, it's 70s clothing with big collars and high yeah. shoes, you know, platform shoes, and a big sign in the window saying, Impress the chicks. <laughs> yep, okay, I see your name up there. It's a viewpoint. Oh, all right. What's this? Hell's Half Acre. Oh, wow. Really? That's impressive. And I'll leave you to find out what it's showing us. You actually see enough of it in this light? Uh, it's pretty much twilight, yeah, so you can you can see a bit, yeah. I mean, if you, okay. want, to, if you want to turn it day for it, it might be a bit more. I don't know, it's just bright, about bright enough. But yeah, it is, it's getting there, yeah. It, it is. is twilight, It's, it's yeah. brightening up. It's still showing me, though. It's, a, it's a fairly long cutscenes, aren't they? That's one thing one of the reviewers were saying. He was like, I didn't realize Wyoming was so evil. You got Hell's Half Acre, you got the Devil's Tower, you got... Yeah, yeah. Come on, go oh out. Oh my God, look at that, look at... Whenever you get back into your car, look to your left out there and look at that gas station way off in the distance there and how uh, cool back, it looks. Back in the car now. Gas station off to the left. It's, it's off at about 10 o'clock from you, I guess. Gas station? No, no, that's not a gas station. That's a group of people looking at out the lookout point. Really? Yeah. Over there, that sign, everything. Okay. Look, well, it's all lit up. It's, it's a car. It's a car that's lighting up the. Oh, uh, okay. The, I'll just move forward. It still looks awful cool. Oh yeah, it, it does. Yeah. Oh yeah, I see him now. I can see the light. It ain't as far off across there as I thought it was, but it still looks cool in the dark like that. All righty. Yeah, there's plenty of light here now. Let's cut this off. I'll tell you a story about something not being as far away as it seemed uh, uh, when you when you finish it. All righty. Hell's Half Acre. Oh, wow. That's a hell of a canyon. It's impressive, isn't it? Uh huh. More people taking selfies. Oh, another another sign for me to read one day. Great job, devs. Damn good job. 
It's impressive to know that that's all out there, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I love the crickets. All right, man. Yeah. Well done. I'm glad yeah. you saw this, saw this, and brought us over here. It means we've missed one tiny bit of road, but still, that's okay. Gives us something to come back to one day. Yep, and the little uh, Triceratops plushies enjoying the ride. Now, about 30 years ago, not long after uh, I'd started driving, um, I was in that phase where, you know, you just really love so to you drive. You were like in your mid-30s when you started driving? <laughs> I was I was a, a fairly later than usual, but yes. <laughs> anyway, um, so about yeah, I, I just started to drive, and I was just in that sort of like you know, bit where you love it and you do every bit of driving you can and everything. Uh -huh. And so I used to take the car out uh, in the evenings and just drive and drive and drive and drive all these places and roads I'd never been before because until then I'd been walking, you know. And at one point it was really late at night, something like about two o'clock in the morning, and it was a dark night. There was no moon in the sky, there was all clouds, and it was a really dark night. And I was coming down this road that I'd never been on before, and there was a light off to my, to my right, off the side, and um, I could just see, it was like um, a big, long, golden rectangle, and it was like um, like a, a, a garage with its big door open. Uh -huh. But all I could see was silhouettes in it, and it was the silhouettes of elephants. It must have been about 200 meters away from the road. Wow. Uh, and, and, and there were elephants, you know, I could see the trunks and everything. And I thought, wow, what are elephants doing over here? You know, I didn't know where I was properly and everything. But I, I, I thought, right, I'm going to have to do this. So um, I, I, when I got home the next day, I was telling my grandfather all about it. And I said, you want to go, you know, I'll take you. I'll take you to this place where there's these elephants. Because he liked his animals and everything. He used to watch the safari park things. Uh-huh. So the next evening, we drove up there. But I thought, well, I wanted to be able to see it. So we drove up in the daylight. And I pulled up where I pulled up before, and we looked out. And this um, building, it wasn't like 300 meters away. It was perhaps 50 meters away. And uh, what I thought was elephants was actually tapirs, and I'd never <laughs> seen a, I'd never seen a tapir before. But the, this place had these tapirs, you know, like big pigs with a snout, like yeah, a yeah, truck, yeah, like yeah. an elephant. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. So I thought they were 300 meters away with these giant things, and they were like 50 feet away, and they were only like you know <laughs> six foot long. <laughs> <laughs> what a grant today. Uh, he said, he yeah, said, well, he says, if you don't know the difference between an elephant and a pig, he says, I'm not coming to your barbecues. <laughs> <laughs> oh, awesome. <laughs> awesome. Well, that was my first ever uh, experience of a tape. I'd, I'd never even heard of them before then. I've never seen one in person, no. No, no. They're just like a really big pick with a, a you know, a tiny trunk. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the Colonel, back in back when I was working in Vice City way back in the 80s, the Colonel on his yacht offered me a slice of tapir snout. Uh, oh, did it? This looks delicious, huh? Tapir snout. Oh, no, no, no thanks. I didn't accept it. I had other things to do that day. Ah. Uh. Another damn adventure I need to finish up. Oh, it is, yes. As well as GTA 4 as well. Oh, Lord. <laughs> Don't get me started. I got so many damn things to do. You have, yes. You were doing your Doom 3 and... Uh... So I told my wife, it's like, don't ever, ever, ever complain about being bored because you're retired. Yeah. I can't help it if you don't do shit. Yeah. It was like this building on the right here, it was about that sort of distance away, and uh -huh. I thought it was like 300 meters away, you know. It was, <laughs> awesome. <laughs> kind of the reverse of the problem the astronauts talked about on the moon. I've heard yeah. them talk about on the moon and said that, yeah, it's like, you know, when, especially whenever they had the lunar rover, they said there's no, you know, there's no atmosphere. So you don't get the atmospheric effect. You don't get blurring. Yeah. 
and said there was a number of times where you know they're driving around and they're like let's go collect uh where do you want to collect rocks now and they said why don't we go to that boulder over there and i said all right said the boulder looked like it's like a hundred yards 200 yards away they hop in the rover and take off and realize five minutes later the boulder ain't gotten no closer <laughs> And it's like, this ain't a boulder, this is something the size of a skyscraper miles away, you know? Wow. Yeah, because, I mean, you've nothing to compare perspective with up there, have you? I mean, you've got yeah, exactly. trees here, no you, trees, you know how big a no, tree should be, you know? No yeah. trees, no nothing, and said, you know, there's no atmosphere to give that atmospheric effect to make everything, said something could be 10 feet away from you, or it could be 10 miles away from you, and it would be exactly as crystal clear. Yeah. Let's hope these barriers don't come down while I'm crossing with this giant truck. They said they could always tell the difference to elephants and tapirs, though. <laughs> Even on the moon, that wasn't all that hard. <laughs> well, I'm just point. I'm I, I'm I'm jealous now. I've You're seen right. elephants. I ain't never seen tapirs. Oh. Uh. I have no idea what they were doing there, though, because it wasn't really like a zoo. It was just like, uh -huh. it was like a big garage, you know. I, I, I don't know what they were doing there. And I'll tell you what, I was really embarrassed when we Take got there. And I, like... you know, took him to see the elephants and they were actually just pigs. <laughs> Tapered be like, we're working on cars. What the hell do you think we're doing? Mm -hmm. You work your job, we'll work ours, buddy. I thought, do you, is that what you guys do store your, your cars in a garage, isn't it? Or, do you, or does it, do you call it something else? Uh, both of them. Both garage of them. is where you store your car. Like, I got a garage on my house here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, I put the car in the garage and close the door. But a garage is also a... a vehicle a, repair a, shop. A vehicle repair shop, yeah. Take ah, it to that, the garage. Yeah, yeah, same here, yeah. The only difference is, is like your garages have got a bigger footprint than our houses. Mm. Honestly, my brother-in-law, he could fit three cars in his garage. Uh, you know, you couldn't fit three cars in our house. Mm. Damn. And that's just his garage, let alone the rest of his house, and then his basement's got it as big as our house as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Goodness me. Yeah, there are some big houses over here. It's why your roads are so wide, it's Mine's because they can like be. That. Mine's not like that. Mine's just a, you know, nice, simple, you know, middle-class beginner home is what people would call it, but yeah. nowadays anyway. But yeah, there's some big damn houses around. Three miles left to go. Doing good. This has been pretty good driving for for these kind of trailers. We ain't had to make any big sharp curves or tight turns or Riverton discovered. Yep. Well, now you said there's a, le a, le a turn left lane here, isn't there? Yep. Ooh, break, break, break! Ah, oh, damn it! It doesn't break anywhere near as quick as a bit a normal trailer does. No, no, that's one of the things it don't do. Well, the guy in his white sedan is not amused with me, but it's cost me nine hundred dollars. <laughs> guy in that other lane ain't amused either, because me and the first trailer are in the turning lane, and the second <laughs> trailer is still in that other lane. <laughs> yes. Uh. I wonder how this is supposed to be said. Is it Nami Q or Nami? Mm. I would think Nami, but God only knows. When you realize that, you know, it's like it's like one thing. You're talking to an Englishman and a Southerner who's looking at something in Wyoming that has been spelled by people in Czechoslovakia. <laughs> so God only knows how it's supposed to be pronounced. 
Well, this is interesting. It gave me a 25 point only uh, parking slot. Yeah, yeah. I ain't never been. I'm hauling the duel. I ain't never been given a choice of spots. It's either you can park it or you can let us do it. Is that not in it? Why is that not in it? That's in it, surely. Is this not me? Or am I coming in the back way here? Nope, back on forward. That's the front way. I'm not telling it's going to be the other way around. Is it not going to take it this way around? I don't understand that. Why is that not right? Is it saying my back trip is, is the back trailer not quite lined up enough? Is that what it is? Hey, Horace. Let's see. Eat the tacos. You look like you're having some stomach issues, there, my friend. Yep, twenty-five pointer. Tell you what, let me back on up here, and if you want, Oops, you can no. uh, I'm gonna have back to go around on out here, yeah, or whatever, and try I'm it gonna, again. I'm gonna have to go around. That's not. Can I get around this corner? I don't think I can get around that corner. Oh, that's going to be tight. Is that going to go around? I don't know if I can get around and go around again. You, you go ahead and park. I'll, I'll catch up. Sure. Yeah. Well, I like that bobcat sitting there. Be very careful right. to make sure you get it lined up because if it's not perfectly lined up, it, it, it's oh, like yeah. it. Oh, yeah. Alright, let's see here. Alright, Horace, watch out. I'm gonna pull right across your steel toe boots there, buddy. You really don't look like you're feeling too good, my friend. You might want to stop vaping whatever it is you're vaping there. something you want to hear is it <laughs> maybe <laughs> let's see here 114 miles 26 minutes 28 gallons of gas $4,859 209xp all right let me get back out here and get out of your way Straight as I can. Let's see if that makes a difference. Oh, finally. Yay! Hey. Company collector, 12 or 15. Oh, nice. Yep. Well, I've got level 12. I'm, I'm still at a level 12 workhorse. All right. And do, can, is there somewhere we can get for uh, fuel and a sleep and then we can leave it there? Uh, that's what I was thinking. I was going to come out here and take a look at the world map, see where the hell we are. Oh, yeah, we're just next, next door. Next door to where oh, we are. Okay, so we're right in the middle of the state. Yep, yep, yep got a service center right down there. Yep. Or whatever the heck that is. Alrighty. I don't think my truck's damaged, even though I crashed into that car. Um, it's not F4, it's F6, is it? 
a seven zero zero okay so my tr truck's not really damaged so i just need fuel in a bed yeah yeah, yeah i think you're um all your you know your business locations and everything are that little bit more interesting in American truck sim. They're not just a case of, you know, a big square yard or a narrow thin yard. It's, they've got all sorts of things like yeah, these. Yeah, I want to I wanna get the, the construction stuff. You get on one of those building sites. Yeah. Where they got the, uh, where they got, where they're like building a building and they got the, 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 the like basement dug out. And you gotta you gotta bring your truck all the way around the edge of it. Oh, around the I've edge of the thing. They've got the road all the way around the edge of where they got the big hole dug. Yeah. That looks like a fun one to me. Alrighty. I had one in Seattle that uh, was like a logging company. Uh -huh. You went up and you went in and out of the logs like that's just been in and out of you know um, concrete. I don't yeah. Know what you call them um, dividers. Um, but yeah, there were logs and all sorts. Is that the middle lane? Can I use that lane? Left turn only. Okay, yes, I can use that one. Ah, so across from us there's a, a white uh, sign with a black arrow on it if it's a left turn only. Okay. Never normally seen those. We just call it a filter arrow. It usually comes up with an arrow pointing the, the one way only. Uh, the light wheel. Ah. If it's if it's correct, it should oh, be that, an arrow pointing that way. That's something else I've noticed. You get your traffic lights when they're um, changing. Uh, when they're going from red, you know, uh, green to stop, they don't seem to go through amber or anything. They just, they just. <laughs> all right, I've got you, but bloody New York cab driver. <laughs> the, the, uh... <laughs> <laughs> God uh, damn rubberneckers! <laughs> <laughs> I was enjoying looking at the signs in the mirror. I'm sorry. <laughs> I've got my window open so I can lean out and smell the roses. <laughs> yeah, that that really freaked that that confused the hell out of me when I was first driving in Europe and y'all go from a red to a yellow to a green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then going the other way, it, go, it goes to uh, red and amber and then green. And then red. <laughs> you, get, you sort of like get a warning that it's going to go to the to the definite one, you know, to the green or to the red. Whereas here, it just goes from red to green. Oh, right, oh, right. Well, we give you the warning to stop, but we don't give yeah. you a warning to go. Yeah, that's it, yeah. Whereas you get a nice warning to go over here as well. I'm about to turn green, if you want to get ready, that's it. Uh, okay. Chat Noir. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to take you away from admiring the scenery. <laughs> I truly didn't, I'm sorry. <laughs> Chat Noir. Oh, that, that black cat. <laughs> okay, yeah. Uh, French for black cat. Must be an adult shop. Well, possibly, yeah. Uh, Adult novelties, that's what they call oops, it. Oops, sorry guys, sorry, I'm, I'm turning left here. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Sorry. Yeah, I know, he's related. What are you going to do? <laughs> sorry. Come down for some fuel first. Where can I get the fuel from? Which one of them will let me take fuel from it? Oh, it's going to be one of those all the way over there, is it? I don't understand that. Why does it... Is it only a couple of the pumps that will let you get fuel from it? Why, do you, why does it have to be a specific pump? Why can't they, if they just put that next to each pump? These are the, the pumps for the four-wheelers, and those are the pumps for the trucks. 
Okay, go ahead and use logic on me, that's not fair. <laughs> 97 cents for rum and diesel. Oh, you lucky How people. How the hell are you getting that kind of... Oh, because you're in pounds or something or whatever. No, 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 no. 97 cents. I have no idea how you're getting that. Mine's three dollars and sixty-seven cents. <laughs> Seriously? Seriously? Price. Yes. Come in the diesel pump price. Three dollars sixty-seven cents. That's no wonder you get the forty pointers. To, you in easy mode. <laughs> Did Quinn well, give you his controller? You using his cheat keys? How, how the heck are we getting different prices for fuel? I have no idea. Because, yeah, mine is $3.67. I just put in 112 gallons. cost me $413. Really? Oh, I'm up wrong side. Of course, I'm up wrong side. Okay. Need to stop the engine. Wait for you, and then we'll go for coffee, and then we can uh, log out there. That was Alrighty. that was good. That was good that we got a, a view done. So, um, you did one to Cheyenne, didn't you? Yeah, I've, I have been to Cheyenne. Yep. Yeah, that's the one that you've done that I haven't done. Mm. All right. All right then. We'll go for coffee. Okay, going for coffee. All righty. That was that was fun. I enjoyed that. I did too. And we're more or less there. You've only got a couple more to do, haven't you, to get your uh, thing. Yeah, when does it I've go got, until? i got two more to, to finish it up. It goes what? until November second, uh, 7th. Oh, right, okay. So, okay. yeah, we got we got like five weeks. Okay. Well, that's not so bad, then. 